Whenever I first got injured after I got home, I couldn't do jack squat, so I set goals. I set goals like trying to transfer independently by myself, trying to get dressed by myself, brush my teeth, eat, all that. However, I set way too many goals and I couldn't achieve any of them. So what I decided to do is just set one goal and break that one goal up into several goals. So for example, let's say one of my goals is to get dressed by myself independently. So instead of setting a goal of getting dressed and all kinds of other things, just set one goal. So get dressed. And then what you do is you break that goal down into multiple goals. So your end result is going to be getting dressed. That's what you're pushing for. But you got to break that end result down into several parts. So you first might want to start on how to get my boxers on. And that would be one goal. And then have another goal after you achieve that on how to put my pants on. And then how to put my shirt on, socks on, shoes on, etc. After you break that one end goal down into several goals, you break those several goals down into other several goals. So let's say one of the goals is to put my pants on. So what I would do is I would break that goal down of getting my pants on into other goals. So how can I figure out how to get my right leg in my pants? Then after I do that, how can I figure out how to get my left leg in my pants? So after you start achieving those itty bitty goals, your end goal becomes achievable and you've already achieved it. So once you have completed that end goal on how to put your pants on, then you can figure out how to get your shirt on or shoes on or socks on. So after you achieve that main goal of getting dressed, you can go ahead and set another goal, such as how to brush my teeth independently. After you set another goal, you will be trying to figure out how to reach that goal, such as brushing your teeth. And while you are trying to figure that out, you won't even know it, but you're actually working on getting dressed as well. But you don't have to think about it because you've already done it. So let's say brushing your teeth takes you a week to figure out. You already have seven days of getting dressed and you don't even really know it. So you've already accomplished getting dressed, which was the goal before. You've already accomplished that pretty much seven times without even thinking about it. So let's go ahead and take a goal such as brushing your teeth as an example. So whenever I first started brushing my teeth, I had an adaptive tool on my toothbrush that was basically uh, about a two inch piece of foam with a hole through it that I put my toothbrush in and it allowed me to grip it. I brushed my teeth using that adaptive tool for a few months and then I decided to try brushing my teeth without that adaptive tool. I eventually got it to where I don't have to use that adaptive tool and I still don't um, today. I personally do not like using adaptive tools or actually relying on them because they're good when you have them, but then you can't do it whenever you don't have the tool. So basically on some goals such as eating, using utensils, or brushing your teeth, you may have to start out with using adaptive tools, but then after you get that mastered, you can go ahead and try using it without it and eventually you can do it no problem. Basically, what you guys want to do is set goals. Um, you can write them down or write them on your phone or something, and you can check them off as you achieve them. However, I do suggest not setting so many goals. So what you could do is write these goals down on a piece of paper, or your phone, or a computer. So let's say you mark down 10 goals, which is quite a few goals, but you could have each goal like um, getting dressed, brushing your teeth, transferring in, transferring out, um, eating, um, using utensils on your own, and then break each goal down into separate goals. So getting dressed, so putting on your pants would be that, would be one goal, and then putting on your shirt would be another, and you could work on those separate goals um, until you got it each day. Then you want to break down each separate goal into goals such as how to put your pants on, how to get my right leg in, how to get my left leg in, how to pull them up, etc. 
So hopefully this helps you guys out. Basically, you just want to set goals. You want to break them down and then break them down again, achieve that goal and set another goal. And while you're working on that second goal, you are already doing that first goal without thinking about it. Another way to set goals or achieve goals is to set really high standards for yourself and work really hard toward that goal. And if you don't make it, at least you have made it past the goal you were initially setting in the beginning before you made that really big goal. I like this idea, but it doesn't really work on all goals.